Hi guys, I'm Hayden Crawford and I'm a wellness coach and spiritual teacher specialising in colour therapy. Here is your colour numerology forecast for the week commencing the 21st to the 27th of September 2020. So we've still got the influences of Mars because we're in September, it's a nine month and Mars is about doing and saying what needs doing and saying instead of being meek and mild and getting angry and frustrated. <laughs> it's also very much about taking action because fire energy asserts you to move forward. We've also got because September is a universal month cycle four, Number four in the columnar system is Uranus, which is about change and disruption of old order. So when you put these two together, you can expect a fiery week of actionable change. Now, this is about an initiation that's taking place this week, which is going to move you beyond a current fear of betrayal within a relationship. And it's actually going to turn out very, very positively in the end. So let me talk you through how it's going to manifest during the week ahead. First of all, on Monday the 21st, what we can see is the key bottle arrives. Now, the key in the colour mirror system is all about you stepping into your authentic power and wisdom. So moving beyond fear and ego and learning to truly start to manifest all of that your heart desires. So really, it's about you finding your inner alchemist where you recognise that actually you've got the power and you've always had the power all along to be able to create exactly what you're looking for. So the 21 is kind of, you know, significant in a sense that the 21 relates to a coming of age of sort. You know, when we reach the age of 21, we get the key to the door. So we start being fully responsible for everything that we manifest. So the beginning of the week on the 21st is gonna start off in a really positive, joyful manner where you're actually gonna be able to leave a few of your fears behind after their transformations and the resurrection that's taken place just the weekend before. As we move into Tuesday, the forgiveness bottle comes in. Now this one is beautiful deep magenta over like rose pink. Now forgiveness is an interesting emotion really, um, or, or, or solution to guilt as an emotion, because when we hold on to anything that is um, detrimental to ourselves, then it will keep us in a very low vibrational state. And guilt is one of those lowest lying emotional states that you can possibly ever imagine because it keeps you stuck. And actually it's based around a misconception as well. So guilt is probably the biggest misunderstanding of all because if we live in a perfect universe, we live in a perfect world, although it's perfectly imperfect sometimes, we, we can't exist outside of the divine. We can't exist as a soul outside of divine perfection. So let go of the guilt, let it go. So on Tuesday, you might either have to forgive yourself or forgive a family member or forgive a significant other, such as a partner. When we move into Wednesday, we have the initiation bottle coming in and this is uh, basically a very dark blue. Um, it's like a royal blue indigo over indigo and an initiation takes place, which can sometimes be quite a struggle or a challenge to overcome. So Wednesday might have a lesson that needs to be learned, but rest assured there will be movement with this lesson. And you might not necessarily know what it is yet, but it will move you beyond where you're currently at into a different space. And actually this is all connected a lot with the releasing of guilt this week, because we've got a large magenta proportion within the reading ahead. We've got it on Tuesday the 22nd, we've got it on Thursday the 24th and we've got it on Saturday the 26th. So three elements of magenta, which is about, you know, the releasing and moving beyond of, of guilt that we might have stored within our subconscious or within our cellular memory. As we then go towards Thursday, we've got 24, bottle number 24, which is, it's called love, uh, creativity and magic. And it's basically a, a, a bottle which enables us to be able to take in all of the good things that we've achieved in our life. So, you know, all of a sudden payback time, you know, all the hard work that you've put in along the way is going to start revisiting you and, and giving you the opportunity to enjoy it. However, on the flip side of that, it can also be about codependency and relationships. And that also 
is a theme that goes through onto the Saturday as well on the, on the 26th where the partnership bottle appears. Now, when we ever see a, a red and a, an olive green or a green and red combination, there's always that, that sort of disconnect from self because magenta represents divine God and olive mother earth. So the divine father and, and mother earth. So the two seem separate in these two bottles. It's almost like saying, well, you haven't got all that within yourself so you need to find it within somebody else which isn't the truth because you are already perfect you are divine you've got everything that you need so this might be coming up for you this week where you start to question a little bit you know why am I holding on to certain relationships and do I fear betrayal within those relationships and actually communication is going to be the key in all of this because remember the fiery energy of Mars and the change of Uranus which kind of underlights the whole of the week's events. So on Friday, we have the, the 25 bottle, which is called Trust, which is um, beautiful turquoise of yellow. Now, this one is really about where you might fear betrayal in a relationship or where you might be feeling guilty because you've betrayed somebody as well. So it kind of brings up all of those emotions of I fear trust and it can knock on into significant um, explosions within arguments or discussions because remember fiery Mars is there that's underneath all of this and some changes that might create new beginnings as well because Uranus is the planet of the future and it wants to clear away anything that no longer serves it to pave the way for a bright and happy future like the golden age of Aquarius. So Sunday things start calming down a little bit and the harvest bottle comes in, number 27. So the 27th is about bliss and enlightenment fundamentally, but it's about also reaping the rewards of all of the seeds that you've sown along the way. So it's a time of peace and plenty. So the initiation that you're going to go through this week is going to be really, you know, sort of dredging up things that have maybe been hidden for quite a long time within you that need to be brought up to the surface, to the light of day, so that they can be released through the realms of your heart. And all of this really is going to, you know, it's it's kind of boundaried by this amazing golden energy of authentic power and wisdom and you starting to become the power in your own life and less reliant on anything or anyone else. Well, hopefully that's made sense for you this week and it's resonated with you on some level. I'm sure that you have got exactly what you need to be able to navigate the week ahead with a lot of ease and grace. So just rely on yourself and don't be phased by this whole Mars retrograde, which you know does seem quite daunting. Well, I'll be back next week with some more colour numerology insights. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel and click the bell for future notifications so that you never miss one of my videos. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.